hey guys welcome back to the channel and happy holidays uh, as promised I told you guys that I would try to uh, uh, get a cake recipe up before Christmas and this is it and guys what it is it's a cream cheese no a three flavor cream cheese pound cake absolutely delicious and very easy guys so whenever you try, get ready to try it whenever, you won't be disappointed. Uh, hold on just a minute, guys. Yes. Uh, guys, as I told you in the last video, when I did the camp stew, how I did it different. And I showed you, just did a little short uh, insert with the ingredients and stuff in it. I'm doing this the same way, guys. I have did a little insert. I don't know what if Tucker going to have it before or after. But it probably would be after I um, finish baking the cake. He's going to have, show you that little insert as to what the ingredients is. And then I'm going to go, I'll be telling you as I go, but I have the ingredients listed in a little short snippet at the end of the video. Simply because, you know, I don't put it in the description area. I have had a lot of people, new people that don't know me, uh, have sent me uh, emails asking for the ingredients. But I do not uh, list the ingredients, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead on and get started. And what I'm getting started with, the first thing is uh, we got three sticks of uh, butter. This is salted butter, guys. You, you can use salted or unsalted butter. So we got three sticks of that. And it is at room temperature. Guys, what I'm going to do is beat this a little bit, and then I'm going to go right on in with my cream cheese. I'm just going to cream it a little bit. Let me lock this. guys I cream it just that small amount of time because all of this stuff is at room temperature and when your ingredients is at room temp your ingredients like your butter sugar and egg and cream cheese and stuff like that it's a lot easier to mix it helps you cut down on the mixing time that's right I'm going right on in with my cream cheese so I can mix these two together the butter and the uh, cream cheese. Okay, not my mixer. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Let me get
right, guys, I'm going to turn my mixer up just a little tight. for just a minute. Get the rest of this sugar dumped on over here. And while I got my blade up, I'm going to scrape down my bubble. Take me a fork or either a whisk 
and just kind of beat them and blend them in together. They'd be at room temperature. And then when it got time for the eggs, I would put the eggs in. And then I would, uh, that's the last egg I would just make sure they was mixed well. And that really works wonderful. Turn it up a little bit more and I'm going to scrape them down. and then uh, I'm going to get ready to add my extracts in here. Guys, I like to add my extract before I put my flavoring in there. So I mean, before I put my flour in because you know when you get your flour in, your flour in, you don't really need to be being at no whole long time. So I like to just add it into this mixture so uh, everything will be mixed well. Turn it up just for another minute and uh, mix that and get ready for my um, flavors. I got to get them out the box. <laughs> guys this is the butter flavor and the reason that I really start using butter flavor in my cakes I always have sort of used it ever since I you know found butter flavor I always used to use it in my sweet potato fries I like the way it tastes in my sweet potato fries if you haven't tried it try it uh, I'm gonna use uh, this one one teaspoon of that. That's because the blood butter, a lot of you guys may not know it, butter a long time ago used to taste so good. You could really taste that buttery taste in your cake. But um, they don't have that anymore. You know, it don't, it don't taste good like that anymore. Well, see, people used to make that butter a uh, long years ago. When I was growing up, I used to help my uh, step-grandmother and my mother. I would open up the baking cream and all that stuff, pour it in the, uh, you see, got all the paper around it. See that little cake seasoning in the guys. Is that just that plastic? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about how long you, uh, you beat yourself sugar and your cream and butter because it's the flour that you don't want to, once you get it in, you got to worry about the time you beat it. Okay. I'm going to put two teaspoon of that uh, almond extract, the butter, I mean flavor, whatever which one it is. Guys, I'm going in with the vanilla.
And they got with a little bit more of this vanilla in itself container. You know, a little bit of vanilla ain't never hurt nothing. Never hurt nothing. When I see something splat out this way, guys, when I have that rain light on, it may be a lot of something that I'm missing. I'm going to turn it up. Beat it. cheese and not a long pretty pretty good while at temperature. Okay guys, I'm going to mix this for a couple of minutes but I'm gonna go right on and then when I come back on I'll be ready to add the flour. Okay guys I'm putting the flour in and I usually put it in and probably sometime two or either three Inclements. Make sure you start your mixture on low when you start. Like up with this flour on, it's gonna be everywhere. My grandma, my granddaughter, want to see me splatter flour all over the place so bad. She said, "Nana, please do it, please do it." Cause I was telling her that you start to mix it back slow, just like I told y'all. So max uh, flour would go everywhere. No flour will go everywhere. That's when she was a little girl. Now I don't know if she still wants that as a. Let me get everything ready because I have accidentally pulled on it and it takes that flour everywhere. And guys, before I turn my mixer back on, let me tell you this. This cake bakes at uh, 325 degrees for one hour and 20 minutes and you start it off in a cold oven and uh, let me see I will be baking it in this nine inch tube pan and I have uh, greased it with some shortening and floured it and dust it. Let me dust a little bit more flour off of it. And uh, that's what I'll be making. Let's get back started. See, can I go low? Because sometimes this thing sticks. And it just goes everywhere. Guys, I put say uh, frosting on my cream cheese uh, pound cake. But this is a three flavor cream cheese pound cake. But I will show you after I get the cake in the oven. I will come back and show you guys how to make the frosting for the uh, cream cheese pound cake. Well, let me say the three flavor cream cheese pound cake. Yes, I don't want to leave that out because it's so good. Scrape it down and then I'm going to get ready to Add some more flour. I'm just going to go ahead on and add it all in, guys. 
because like I told you, uh, when you have your uh, ingredients at room temperature, That little bit I wasted on the counter is not gonna matter. I know they tell you these cakes and stuff, everything got to be exact. And it's supposed to be, but all this little itsy bitsy amounts and stuff, don't you dare let that worry you. Don't make no bigger deal out of this stuff, guys, and you have to. You're going to have to teach your younger, your younger people how to do it. And then they got to learn just like you do. Because once you get the hang of it and some experience with it, people are like, ah, oh, that's all it is too. I thought it was so scary. No, nah, it's not. And don't let nobody make, uh, make you think it's scary. And once you uh, learn what you're doing, you're going to develop your own ways and techniques of doing things. Let me cut it back on. And get it started and then I'll turn it back high. Yes, we say, ooh, but they sound a good bit out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she wants to see that now. See that she be waiting every time I turn the mixer back on to see if I'm gonna accidentally turn it too high. And she get to see flowers go everywhere. Every time I touch it to turn it. Spoon on there. Huh? Your measuring spoon will stuck onto your spatula. Oh no! Had my measure spoon over there. I measured my vanilla, and it got onto the. Uh, got onto the uh, spatula. Glad I seen that with my no tuck seen that. I would have baked it up. <laughs> I thought that was by the tuck. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I wanna see how I'm like cuz I wanna see how that's that's did. I know when we used to watch those old westerns back in the day and um like old gun smoke or whatever movie that the people go to jail. They have an old lady coming up there and then bake the cake. And she have a file inside of it. <laughs> to, uh, so they can break out of the jail. They use that file to, to um, excuse me a minute. To get it right down good. Scrape down good. 
they use that file to um, file the bars so they can uh, escape. Let this be about three minutes, guys. Then I, I'll probably come back and show you guys once, we, once I get ready to put it in the pan what it's looking like. Because that's such a messy job. I don't try to show people how to pour it in the pan because it ain't no special technique that you get it all in the pan and get it all, you know, even in there. And, um, that's all I can tell about tell you about that. Okay guys, I'll be right back when I when all of this finished mixing. Okay guys. Okay, I'll finish beating. I'm gonna get ready to put it in the pan. And I don't even know if I'm gonna tackle. Just let you guys see what the uh the batter looks like. Give me another spatula. Get it off this blade. I'm gonna have to be to the side to get this off of the blade so I can get it off. everything trying to cook food. <clears throat> it's showing me don't be don't just be trying to do this. So you cannot turn it away. Like about that show. This is the way I do mass. Just start pouring it in the bowl. I'm gonna have to start pouring from this side. I can't even see it, can you? Cause I don't want that. Uh, um, I don't like for the uh, the um, batter to heat up there on my. I call that my little stove pipe. I 
I be doing this not so much for my uh, veteran cooks, my uh, my younger cooks. Can't take for granted that they may know how to do that. Well, look at that. I don't know how to get that over on the side. Usually, I think I have Brita Tuck turning it for me. <laughs> but uh, I think that's the way I do it. Yeah, a lot of times. If they at home when I'm baking the cakes. That mixture is real creamy. Though. That's what it's supposed to be. Okay. Now I got to get that off of there because that'll. Slip it out the drop it. Uh-huh. Let me drop the stuff everywhere. Drop on the side to it again, then. Do better than this when I'm putting it in and nobody watching. Get this off of there. If you get in that cake mixture anywhere, just get your your dishcloth, uh, paper towel, a damp paper towel, and get it off because you know it's gonna start cooking and burning early. You make it thank you. Guys, you can take some batters that you like, cake batters, and you can change it to put just about any flavoring in there you want. As long as your batter with your moisture and your sugars and stuff. Now this cake used to be a very, very moist cake, guys. But let me tell you, things are, they, they're making stuff so different now, cutting back on it for whatever reason. And I just take my spatula and just go round and round like that. As Brittany can say, like this, like that. <laughs> taking my fingers to get this off simply because this stuff got to go in the oven and bake. And you know what I told you. Your hands is your best tool that you got in the, in your kitchen. But when you cooking something, ain't got to be like making a salad or something that uh, don't have to go back in the oven and stuff or cook. Uh, put on you some gloves. You don't want to have too much hand contact with that.
bubbles. My mama said, knock them air bubbles out. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish getting this in straightened out and cleaned up and put in the oven. And we come back, this cake, of, now I, I think I'm going to come on back and make the filling. I mean the frosting. But I'll show you the cake once it come out the oven. Be right back. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, the uh, cake is out of the oven and I got it over there cooling. So I'm going to go ahead on and make this here uh, cream cheese uh, frosting. And when the cake cools, I'll come back on and uh, uh, show you how I frost it. Okay, uh, I'm just going to poke out a half a bag of this and if I have to use the whole bag, you know I will. Look like it got me to sift it, but that's all right. I may have to use some more of that. So what you're going to need, just say maybe about, because um, usually I make like a half a recipe of the cream cheese recipe, uh, uh, cream cheese frosting, but um, right here I got uh, approximately I think it's about three, three tablespoons of butter. You can use more butter, whatever, if you like. But I'm putting the cream cheese out. What did you pour in there before you put the cream cheese, the butter? That was a pile of sugar. Didn't I say? How no. much did I say? I put about a half a bag of a pot of sugar. I'm not doing too much milk, uh, measuring right here, guys. I need to show y'all how I do this stuff with, without measuring and carrying on. But I'm just winging it. I'm winging it. I like the way I've been. I like when I, the way I do it with a. Time I come in my kitchen, my hands are clean when I start throwing food of some sort. Guys, when I used to bake this cake in the, uh, and oh yeah, we, you're gonna need uh, one teaspoon of the almond extract. Uh, let's go ahead on and put that in now. Guys, you know, if anything that you're doing and you're tasting it and you want a little more, you can do it because you can't never tell with these uh, products you get nowadays. They change them the way they want to, any kind of way they want to, and don't care if you like it or continue to buy it or not. Believe me, a half of this stuff is just, it's just not right. How much was that? That was a teaspoon of some of Vanilla extract, guys. I really not think I'm in the kitchen doing it for myself. I got some uh, milk over there. Because I'm going to start doing it first to see how much. You know, I told you guys in um, other videos I like to. Oh, I get my. I might be. I don't even have my mixer plugged up. need about a couple of tablespoons. And I'll tell you something else, guys. Uh, when you're doing uh, cream cheese and uh, butter frosting, don't let your um, uh, your butter and your cream cheese 
get as warm as you would like if you're baking a cake with it. That can uh, make your uh, frosting not get as hard as it needs to be. You know, let it sit out some, but not much. Just getting it mixed up right now, guys. recipe so I couldn't have any I mean but I, I plan on frosting my whole cake so uh, I'm going to use this whole box of a thank you this whole box of a pound of sugar a little bit of more milk over here. all to it guys. I got to finish getting it mixed up. Just kind of gradually add your liquids so you won't get it too loose. And if you do, all you got to do is uh, mm, let's go more a little smaller. It don't matter that one you've got to pick up right there. Okay, just trying to get this off. You got to have it where it won't, you know, it's just thick enough and won't be running all off your cake. That's where I go slow with it. See what it looked like? Did they, could they see? Mm -hmm. Well, you'll see when I get to putting it on there, guys. So, okay, I'll be back to frost the cake as soon as it cools. Okay, guys, I came back to show y'all, show you guys the cake. Before I frost it, because I'm not going to frost it on camera, because I'm not the best and I'll take a long time to do it. But all I'm going to do is put the frosting on the top first. Get your top scraped out and get it look, uh, looking all pretty, and then work with your sides, because I put it on the top and the side. 
So uh, when it finished cooling, um, I'm going to come back and just show you guys after I frost it. I'm going to show you the uh, finished product, cut you a slice, and then I'll end this video. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, the um, three flavor cream cheese cake is finished. Turned out nicely, and uh, and it's beautiful, guys. You know, I told you, uh, frosting a cake is not my strong point. When I was younger, you would have thought I was a pro, but as I got older, I don't do as well. But I do good enough. And guys, I, I'm gonna tell you something else that I meant to tell you. Uh, I added one more teaspoon of that almond extract into my frosting because after I tasted it, I, I thought it needed a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, guys, is um, go ahead on and cut you guys a slice of the cake and let you see what it's looking like on the inside. And then we're going to close this video off. out. Let me show you this. Thank you, Miss Joanne from Mississippi for sending me this uh, cake uh, serving set or whatever. I love it. And I'm not saying I can do so much better with the cakes, but whatever. So let me cut you guys a slice of the cake. I'm trying to cut it too big, and I'm trying to cut it too small. I want you guys to see what's going on. off my hand guys put it up here so you can see it and let me rinse this off my hand it was still a little warm when we frosted the cake but we got something else to do go out and do some more shopping and all that stuff so we need to go get on and end this video this is it guys this is a you see how easy it was you guys see how easy it was and it is an absolutely delicious cake uh this is when i used to be experimenting around with a lot of things and not sticking to the same old same old see what can they see what it looked like on the side but guys as this cake set it get even better when i put the uh, dome over it it's so, so moist and delicious. Okay, guys, let me go ahead on. There's nothing else I can tell you about it. I done showed it to you. So we going to go ahead on and get out of here so we can uh, uh, do some more, uh, get some more Christmas stuff out the way. So, guys, let me say this to you. I hope we all be safe out there during these Christmas holidays while we shopping and all that, that kind of stuff that uh, we use our common sense. Everybody's not in the Christmas spirit and all that, and there's nothing that we can do about it. Some people got evil on their mind, but let's use that discernment that God gave us. And how about, what's that song to? Uh, I pray for you, and you pray for me. That is the way we Christians do. I can't forget, I can't remember the rest of until we meet again. I think we say that when we come in the house. I mean when we uh first get back to church. <laughs> I done got it mixed up on all uh, that stuff that used to be in my head, like the back on bye bye. But guys, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Have you ever baked this here? Three flavored cream cheese pancake. And I hope you guys have some happy holidays. And remember to go over there and check out my daughter, Britt Simone. See what she's going to be posting for the holidays. If, if she even posts anything. But she's probably going to get it together during uh, 2024. If God see fit. And if this is will for us to make it over into that. We got to remember, this is God's will. And remember exactly who we'll celebrate. We celebrate his only begotten son that he um, 
You know, he uh, died on the cross so we could have a chance at everlasting life. He's our, he's our redeemer. We is redeemed through the blood of Jesus. So guys, let's suck is anything you want to say. Because I know I probably won't get back on. I may come back on right after Christmas to show you guys what we have. But for us putting up any recipes and stuff like that. Let me turn the cake so you guys can see how good that cake looked there on the inside. And believe me, it's good. And if you came by, you know, you came by May May House, you can definitely have some. And I'll probably be, uh, I'll probably bake another one. Okay. Just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Let's remember Jesus is the reason for the season, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Absolutely. Christ. Absolutely. Is what, what this is all about. And regardless to the commercialism, how it's all been commercialized, but that's what the the season is all about. And we just want to tell you all to be careful. Have a Merry Christmas and uh, enjoy your loved ones and family and, and, and let them know that you care and love for them. All right, until the next time. Can you remember that song, Gary? Uh, uh, spread love on Christmas. <laughs> Christmas no. Day. No greater. No. no. Oh, I, we can't remember no songs, guys. So we going to see you uh, in our next video. But remember what May May always tell you guys. Think positive. Use your common sense. And May May love you guys. And bye. Bye, you guys. See you in my next video. Here are the ingredients you're going to need to make this delicious three flavoring uh, cream cheese pound cake. This is three cups of all purpose flour with one teaspoon of baking powder and a, a fourth a teaspoon of salt sifted into the um, all purpose flour, plain flour, which one you can, whichever one you call it. The baking powder and the uh, salt is already sifted in there. And then, guys, you're going to need three cups of sugar. Three cups of white sugar. And then we have over here three, uh, three sticks of pure butter. Three sticks of pure butter. And you're going to need six eggs and the butter and the eggs. And also, you're going to need 8 ounces of cream cheese. This is all at room temperature. And then you're going to need 2 teaspoons of almond, almond flavor. 2 teaspoons of vanilla flavor. No, vanilla extract. The pure vanilla extract. And I don't know about the almond extract is that pure or what but anyway you're gonna need the almond uh, extra uh, flavoring and then um, one teaspoon of butter extract just one teaspoon of that and guys that's all you're gonna need to make this a uh, delicious cream three flavored cream cheese pound cake so I'm going to go off and get my mixture, mixture, and uh, we'll get started. Guys, this here will probably be at the end or uh, either the beginning of the video. I don't know what uh, uh, space that took going to put it in, but these are the ingredients. I'm trying to find a new way to show you guys the ingredients so it will be easier because you know I do not list my ingredients in the description area. Okay, guys.